Happy holidays everyone, it's Claire Stone with your weekly angel and tarot guidance. Today it is Boxing Day, it's the 26th of December and I'm going to be reading for you with the Rider Waite Universal Tarot, my favourite tarot deck and I'm going to do a cheeky oracle pull from my book. So let's get shuffling and see what is coming out for this week. Oh, so start of the week, we have got a lovely card and it's the Page of Cups. And the Page of Cups is, we are being given some kind of offering. And I'm not surprised because, you know, a lot of us, most of us are off work and we are celebrating. And this is like some kind of invitation. So it could be an invitation, it could be a date. If it's in a work context, it could be you're, you're being offered something, you're going, going to be asked to do something. But what you are offered is really, really nice. It's something that makes you feel really good and like, yes, I, I wanted to do that or I want to go there, I wanted to see them. There can be an element of surprise with it, little fish pops out of his cup there. But this is a nice card, so I feel like there's a general um, feeling of contentment and nice surprises walking into this week. Okay, so midweek we have got... We have got the Two of Swords walking into the middle of the week. And this is when we have some kind of internal conflict. You know, when we're at a bit of a crossroads and we cannot decide, oh, should I do this or should I do that? You're not quite sure. And this card is asking you to wait. So if there's a big decision or just something that's giving you a bit of uh, something on your mind, you're not sure of the way forward, then do nothing, surrender you will gain clarity later on in the week. That clarity is coming. I feel like this is a collective reading because you know there's that uncertainty in the in general. We don't know what is going to happen um, in regards to lockdowns and things like that. So this is a don't make too many plans. Just pause and, and have a minute and focus on that good that good card that that we had at the beginning of the week. Can't get my words out today. End of the week. We have got, hey, hey, we have got the Ace of Swords. That's a fantastic card. Whatever conflict we had mentally with that Two of Swords, we've now got the Ace of Swords and that is the victory over the mind. You have done it. That idea, that clarity, that vision, those answers that you were seeking, you have got them and you are feeling on fire. You are feeling crystal clear with the pathway forward. See, I always got the crown over the sword, incredible ideas, feeling like this is a new start. This is like a breath of fresh air. So fantastic week ahead. Right, oh, oh, jumpers, jumpers. I've just flung out of the deck the sun and the queen of cups. So look after yourself, surround yourself with people that make you feel happy if you can and embrace that inner child. This is all about emotions and the feel good factor. So good things are coming, keep focusing on them. This is a really good omen. And that, that could actually be seen as like the, the, the divine child that's just the, the sun, the rebirth of the sun with the 25th of December alignments. So a little cheeky one there with Mother Mary, she can be the Queen of Cups. Right, I'm gonna do one for each of the signs and I'm starting off with Cancer. And I've got my pencil. Right, Cancer, what is going on for you this week? Hey, hey, we've got the Ace of Pentacles, fantastic card. You are gonna be feeling a bit more flush than usual. There's some kind of gift or opportunity to make more money. This is a fabulous card. If you are wondering about, will I get this or will I get that? The answer is hell yeah. The help is there. The hand is coming out from the heavens. Everything that you need to create this fabulous future is, it's gonna be soon in the palm of your hand. So use the law of attraction to keep visualizing that outcome, not how am I gonna get there, just the, the, the destination at the end. So next up we've got Aries. Aries, we have got the Knight of Wands. And the, again, this is a brilliant card because it's saying that you're gonna be feeling all fired up, all excited about something. Lots of passion and enthusiasm. Maybe you've had a good time and you are now like, you're refreshed, you're ready for the next chapter, you're raring to go. 
just don't burn the candle at both ends because this is what can sometimes happen when we get loads of ideas, we spread ourselves thin. Just stay focused one thing at a time and you will be charging ahead. Look at that, how I've actually burnt the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Fire. <laughs> I've burnt it cleansing him somehow. Next up, we've got Taurus. Oh, there's some fabulous personal cards coming out this, this week. We've got the Empress. The Empress is all about abundance, fertility. Growth is all around you, whether that is within your relationships, people nurturing you, enjoying quality time with people, oftentimes in business. Again, I know there's uncertainty going on out there in the world, but forget all that. In your own world, there are opportunities for growth, investments, abundance. You're gonna be feeling really contented. Go with where your instincts are calling you. You are tuned in, you are on track. Just keep going ahead and enjoy the journey. Nice cards. Next up, we've got Gemini. And I've just flung another card out the deck for Gemini. And, oh my God, the Ace of Cups, amazing. Your cup is full to the brim. Feelings of contentment, joy, newness. There's lots of new beginnings. I'm thinking, you know, people thinking about New Year. Are we thinking about, you know, 2022? We've been restricted, but people feel a bit like now, like, well, I'm just carrying on anyway. I'm not waiting anymore. I've got, this is my life. I've got stuff I need to do. I feel like there's other creative energy coming your way and you need an outlet. You need to let these ideas to come out of you because you you can create something really beautiful if you let it flow. Trust your intuition and there's some kind of like rebirth. You're feeling like a new you, like you're feeling really motivated and, and fabulous. Next up, we've got Leo. Leo, for you, we have got the Hermit card, this is a very spiritual time for you and it's a time to withdraw and go within. You usually like to be, you know, around loads of people on adventure energy around you, but this is a time of solitude. You know, you might be feeling a bit lonely, you might be feeling a bit isolated, and but this card is saying that where you are right now, it's a time of wisdom and, and spiritual reflection. So go within, do some meditation, do some soul searching, where do you wanna be in? one month, six months, six years, get all that down now. And the light is all switched on within you. That inner guru always knows the way to go. Trust yourself. You need to be alone. You need some boundaries. Next up, we've got Virgo. Virgo, we have got the death card for you. And this is a, a time of endings and change. Sometimes change is forced upon us and you know human beings we don't like it but ultimately this card it always it paves a pathway for something brighter a brighter future around the corner the only thing that's died in this card is the king and the king represents someone that had you know power over us so you are free see those towers in the background the sun is rising a new dawn a new day um this is positive change we've got the rose of purification and we've got the, all of the elements. So everything's coming together for you. After this ending, take time to integrate the change, the opportunities. Remember that the universe is working for you and it's just part of life. Endings are a part of life, but we are eternal souls and you have got this. Your next chapter is gonna, you're gonna be feel like more free, more free. Next up, we have got Libra. Oh, love this card. Wheel of Fortune for Libra. So your luck is about to turn around. That again, following on from the death card, you know, everything is always in flux. Everything is always moving, always change. Nothing stays the same forever if you've had a run of bad luck. Now you are on your way back up. You can see there are these these winged beings, they represent the fixed signs of the zodiac, but they're there with the books. It's like they're, they're looking at the Akashic record. This is my own version of this card. They're looking at the Akashic record and they're like, right, this person now, they're ready to meet this person or they're ready to do this because some things are predestined. We do have like a plan and 
we sway, but ultimately some things that are destined, we are meant to do, we get led back to it. This is that time. Look out for the synchronicities. Your angels and guides are like, hello, we want to help you, we want to push you onto your path of destiny. So follow destiny, look for the signs, it's all around you. Next up, we have got Sagittarius. Sagittarius, we have got the Hierophants. First question, are you the teacher or are you the student? This, again, is a very spiritual card. It's all about learning lessons, but it's kind of like you need a bit of community right now. It's not about where the hermit was going at it alone. This is like coming together. You need people around you. There could be... Um, uh, this is a like a masculine card as well. So it's about doing the studying, doing all of the learning, the practices that are going to lead you to like whatever it is that you're looking for. This like ultimate wisdom. It is there for you, but it but it's it's with somebody else. Find the people that are going to help you manifest. The people that are going to help you move forward. People have answers for you. Next up, we've got Capricorn. Capricorn, we have got the Eight of Swords. And now this card does, this is a feels card and it's about feeling a bit trapped and feeling a bit anxious. So I'm thinking that you're like, you know, you're a bit concerned about something or, or feeling restricted in some way. Now this card does have an element of illusion with it. So it doesn't mean that something bad's gonna happen. It means free yourself. How can you look at something a different way? Like there's no sword behind her. She thinks that she's in a pen of swords, but she's not. If she just stepped back, she would be out of whatever it is that's bringing her this suffering. So again, for you, it's a change of, of perspective. She's got the blindfold. She's not quite seeing things clearly. You need some relaxation, some self-love, and, and perhaps to withdraw a little bit to, you know, think about what it is you need right now and what's going to make your life feel easier. Next up, we've got Aquarius. Aquarius, again, for you, it is a time of going within. We've got the high priestess, the wise woman, and where we had the hierophant on the, like, the external, reading the books, seeking out the teachings, joining the meditation classes. This is what she's, this is an inside job. She's going within to retrieve her wisdom because she already knows everything. Behind this veil, she, she is, she knows that she's connected to everything. The only way you're going to get this wisdom is by seeking solitude, attaining that balance. This is like a really psychic time for you. You might be knowing who, you might be thinking of someone and then they send you a, send you a call, give you a call. Um, really, really fruitful time for you. It will serve you well to relax, meditate, journal, do what you need to do, do your own readings and stuff like that because that inner guru is bubbling to give you this wisdom. Next up, we've got Pisces. Pisces, we have got the sun. Beautiful card, second time it's come out today. Gonna be a happy week for you. You're being encouraged to embrace your inner child. Do whatever brings you most joy. Again, this is about freedom liberation you're gonna just I just feel like this is just a really nice week for you and you know maybe you are being around family and you've got time off work and stuff like that um but yeah do some fun stuff some really fun stuff because you just there's just so much joy it's like you it's just like the sun is shining on everything for you this week and you're gonna feel really blessed you know sometimes we just know that we're really blessed well this is like a week of that for you. Happy times are coming. Healing is coming. This is just a card of great gratitude. <clears throat> Scorpio. Scorpio, we have got the Four of Swords. Again, a lot of cards have been coming out like this today. This is a time of withdrawal. Taking a step back. You need a rest. Are you bloody knackered? Everything that is going on around you, you can walk away from it and it will still be there when you come back. You do not to cling on, need to cling on to anything right now and think, I'm going to need to do it because I'm going to lose my opportunity. You're not. You really, really need this time. You need a break. Even if it's just a walk in the woods, 
just a break from the norm. And that's going to give you that regeneration, that inner peace, and just like fill you up. It's like you've, you've given loads and loads and you, you need to replenish and recharge your batteries. So take yourself off somewhere, whether that is, like I said, a little mini break or even just a day out because a change is as good as a rest, so they say. So I'm gonna go ahead and see which cheeky angel wants to give us some guidance for this week. Ha, <laughs> Mary Magdalene. Right, so we've got activating the Christ flame has come out. So that is absolutely perfect because it's Christmas. This month is all about Christ light and about receiving the wisdom, the Christ codes from the divine masculine and also from the divine feminine. Now, traditionally, this is a time of um, mascul re receiving the masculine light. You know, um, the, the Christ child is reborn but I actually opened this page and, and it actually said Mary Magdalene so there's actually an exercise in this and I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna um when I get back later I am going to copy and paste it out of the uh, digital print of this so so you can do it if you want to it'll be up on my page tonight so if you want to do it and it's to reactivate the Christ flame to help you heal yourself and the disenfranchisement of women. So this is where like the divine feminine has been suppressed and it's about you resurrecting that Christ flame and the feminine Christ, um, as Megan Watterson coined, I think, she says it in her book anyway, Mary Magdalene Revealed. Um, so yeah, this is a time for basking in that Christ light. It's a time for opening your heart, opening your crown, and connecting to that golden ray of Christ. So the angels who like oversee the Christ light is Archaea Christine, follower of Christ, and Archangel Jophiel, the, the beauty of God. And you know, call these angels in, ask them to fill your heart with peace, to purify your heart, to let go. I feel like this is on a personal scale, not and a collective scale. Uh, like is there any women in your life that you need to just like unthread from your heart like someone who's proper crushed you or shamed you this is what this what this exercise is about like how women have hurt you it could be your mother wounds grandmother it doesn't matter what gender you are we all have like these uh, feminine wounds and there's a giant collective one but there are also our personal ones as well and it's a time to heal them so that Mary Magdalene wants to come through and help us to heal our hearts from the betrayal of women, from women, from anybody else. So there you go. Wishing you the most wonderful, fabulous Boxing Day. Like I said, I'll stick that exercise on my Facebook page, Claire Stone, so you can grab it and you can have a go at it if you like. So lots and lots of love. See you all next week.